Today on Geek Thought, we find out that sometimes turning a movie into a TV show just is something that we should just not do. Sometimes a movie can just be a movie and let it be great by itself. Turning it into a TV series just might not be worth it. There might not be the material that you need to get it there. Here we go. Cardio. Rule 29, use the buddy system. I really can't tell you how happy we are to have you. So unfucking fair. Rule 8, get a kick ass partner. Zombie kill of the week? Week's not over yet. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Geeked Out. My name is Steven Merced, and I pretty much got the chance to check out Zombieland, the TV series. What? You didn't know that they were turning this into a TV series? Yes, they actually were. Uh, this was a movie from a couple of years ago. I believe it was 2009, and the movie was a phenomenon. I mean, the movie was amazing, funny, great to see, just a great, great movie. And they thought, why not turn it into a TV series? So pretty much no primetime network really was picking it up. So what ended up happening was Amazon... Uh, yeah, Amazon actually went in and they picked it up and they wanted to start making like fresh TV shows for their um, Amazon Instant Video and that's what this is. This is their first, one of their first major TV shows. They're trying to see if it gets picked up. So if you guys like my review, make sure you go over there to Amazon Instant Video and like the video. That way they can get more people to get behind it and make it a full series. So in the pilot, we get the... Main four people from the film, um, if you guys don't know the film, the film is it has a unique take on it. It's a kid who gives a narrative of like these rules and these uh, regulations of how to stay alive during a zombie apocalypse. And he meets up with these other characters throughout the movie and they're pretty much just trying to survive. So in the pilot, what I'm getting from the vibe of the first episode that I saw, which is the um, only episode they have right now, is that this is after the movie and pretty much the all these four characters are together they're still trying to survive but right now they're trying to find a fifth person to be a part of their crew and the cool thing in this show is that it keeps everything that you love from the movie all the jokes all the little like the um, titles popping up on the screen when rules pop up all the rules all the kill of the weeks I'm assuming they're going to have one every week where they're going to just kind of be like, oh, is that the kill of the week? And you just see a clip of a kill of a week. And I'm assuming they're going to keep all that in it because that's what the pilot was. So if you really love the movie, you might enjoy the movie. You might enjoy the TV show a bit. I mean, there are parts of the TV show that I don't like, but you might enjoy the TV show. Um, pretty much, uh, like I said, that's pretty much the overall premise of the pilot is them trying to find a fifth person for their crew. But things just never seem to go their way and they always seem to lose that person in a funny comedic way or they try to be. So pretty much what we get here is, um, so in the original movie, the role of Tallahassee was played by Woody Harrelson. Uh, in this one, it's played by a person called uh, Kirk Ward, who I've never actually heard of, but he... I love the Woody Harrelson Tallahassee character. I thought he was amazing with the Twinkies and all that good stuff. I thought he was awesome. But here, the Kirk Ward character feels like a forced wannabe Woody Harrelson character and I just I didn't like it really 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 much so but you guys can interpret that however you like but I prefer Woody Harrelson and this new guy he just didn't really do it for me he wasn't funny like Woody Harrelson was now in the movie we have um Columbus who was played by Justin Eisenberg and in the tv show is played by a relative newcomer I believe his name is Tyler Ross this one isn't that bad. We have um, the Columbus character is the one that always does the narrative, gives the rules, and the kid, Tyler Ross, he's okay in this. He's not bad. He's pretty good. Of course, he's not better than Jesse Eisenberg, but he holds his own in his like unique way. He's not trying to be Jesse Eisenberg, which is something I really, really like. I like that he's trying to be himself. Um, now, the next one is the role of Wichita, or Wichita, or whatever her name is, and she is pretty much... Uh, played by Emma Stone in the original movie, and in the TV series she is played by, she is played by Mayra Wash, I believe her name is, who is another relative newcomer. 
Uh, she's okay. Again, what I like about her is she's not trying to be the Emma Stone character. And to me, that really works. When you just be yourself, make the role your own. Uh, the last character is um, Little Rock from the TV series, or from the movie, and she was played by Abigail Breslin in the movie, and in the TV series she is played by Isabella Bitkovic, I believe her name is, and another relative newcomer. Um, so pretty much that's the cast here we have in the series, and the cast is nowhere near as great as the cast for the movie, but in parts they hold their own, and they all give their little charm here. What I actually wish they would have done is kind of like left the movie characters to themselves and kind of created their own characters, you know, had another crew of survivors with the same kind of like rules and courts and stuff like that, give them different names. That way we don't always see the characters of they were before when we look at these characters, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to see the Tallahassee character and want to see Woody Harrelson, but just get Kirk Ward. I would have loved to have just seen a new character, a new take on everything. So pretty much the show is what it is i mean it's an all right show it's got some quirks some funny things in it but there are moments where i'm just like it's not as funny as the movie and it's not as high budgeted as the movie but i guess there's some things to love some things to hate overall it's an okay pilot we get some good things here and there some cool zombie kills and i guess zombies are like the new vampires i mean, remember when vampires were all big and hyped now it's zombies. I mean, zombies are everywhere. So I guess people love zombies. And I guess this show, if it would have been on primetime, it probably would have got a lot of love. But it's on Amazon Instant Video. So I'm going to give the show a geeked out score of 3 out of 5. Because I think it's worth watching to see where they take it. There's a lot of cool things that they can do with this show. And I want to see where they go with it. That's my scores at 3 out of 5. And if you guys get a chance to check out uh, Zombieland, the TV series, on Amazon Instant Video... Um, it's free, so if you guys want to check it out, make sure you guys check it out. It's a half an hour series, uh, so it's a comedy. So you guys let me know what you guys think. Um, if you guys love the movie, make sure you guys let me know why and what do you guys think about it being a series. Um, comment below, like the video, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, guys. As always, thanks for just watching, and I'll see you guys later.